So here's how to make a Facebook frame in Canva. It's very easy to do, and if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description to either get Canva for free or simply use it for easier login access. So when you were on your main dashboard, what I just simply typed in was Facebook frame. And as you can see, we're gonna have a wide variety of them that we can use. However, a lot of them are gonna be with Canva Pro, as you can see any of the crowns here. So what I'm gonna do is use a basic one for you and just kind of show you how to edit it and then of course add in your picture. Let's click on this right here and then let's do customize this template. All right, so first and foremost, this is a happy birthday one. So we can actually click on this and remove it. We can get rid of the banner as well. So if we want to change this around, we can click there or double click. I'm just going to do my name. You can put whatever you want there and it's going to nicely curve in once we are done. Okay, from then on out, what we want to do is add a frame so that we can add an image of ourselves. So let's go to elements over here. Let's type in frame and we're gonna to wanna to use the circle one. So let's do this and let's make it about the size of the actual circle right here. Don't worry about if it's a little bit too big or too small, however it's gonna be. I'll probably make it a little bit bigger. We can always move it in the back after. All right, perfect. And we're doing this because we can just drag and drop one of our images in and it's gonna stick very nicely. Speaking of that, let's add in our image. So what I wanna do is go to uploads. I'm gonna get an image of me. All right, so here's an image of me and I'm just gonna drag it until it goes in and it fills up the image. Now, as you can see, it's kind of cut off. It's behind me. That's completely fine. Let's click on the image now. What we can do is click on this button right here, which is crop. And I'm gonna make it so you can actually see my head. Looks much better that way. Let's do done. Okay, and I can even move it down a little bit more if needed. Now you're gonna notice here that it's kind of showing on the bottom part, it's completely fine. Since we've clicked on our image, let's right click on it and let's do layer, let's do send backward. Perfect. So now, as you can see, it's not going to be cutting off anything. We have that very nice Facebook frame going around. If we want to change the color of the frame, we can click right here. Given the fact my channel is Marketing Island, I'm going to go a little bit more tropical and just like that. Now, obviously, you can add other things to it as an example. You know, maybe I'm just going to use this because it's there like an arrow. Uh, that looks horrible. Looks like it's trying to pick my nose or something, but you can add any other type of image around it if needed. If you want to keep it basic, that's how it's going to be. Don't forget forget at the end when it comes to sharing and saving, you're going to click on share. You're going to do download. PNG is going to be fine. You can do that or JPEG, JPG. And when you're done, simply click on download and you will have your Facebook frame picture to use pretty much as you want, probably on Facebook, or maybe it could be on Instagram, TikTok, wherever it's going to be. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton as well. And if you made it to the end, a virtual high five for you. I will leave a link in the description for a free gift that can help with building and growing your digital business. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.